Hi Scorpio, welcome to your reading. This is Aqua Aura and uh, welcome. So I'm going to do your reading for the month of March 2021. I wanted to um, thank you all for the like, subscribe and share. Okay, so this is going to be a reading for the love area. Uh, this is general, so it will not resonate with every Scorpio in the planet. Okay, so please uh, fast forward or uh, check other readings. Okay. Um, you can also check my other readings that I did in my channel if you are interested. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. Whoa. Okay. That's starting good. What else? March 2021 for my Scorpio. March 2021 for Scorpio. Thank you for all of your like, share, and subscribe. I don't know if I already said that, but thank you so much. Worth waiting for. Diving, di the divine timing is at work in your love life. Wow. Okay. Worth waiting for. Okay. Some of you want to get married here. And maybe with the pandemic, you know, everything got uh, delayed and, uh, you know, postponed. Uh, or some of you are just like you want to meet this person who you're going to get married to, okay, your, your, your soulmate. But um, they're telling you that you have to be, <laughs> I know that you don't want to hear that, but you have to be patient. Yeah, very soon. Yes, okay. So yeah, you clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So um, it's all depend of your situation, okay. You, there's something that you're not sure about or someone maybe you're not sure about. They're telling you that you have to um, decide what you want, okay? You have to make this decision, make this, take this leap of faith or, you know, whatever you, you're you doing right now. Okay, I'm going to get from the tarot. This is the borderless uh, right of weight. Some of you, you are celibate right now, okay? You, you are single and you're waiting for that person. Okay, show me what you. All right. So here we have the Queen of Swords. Okay. So, um... I feel like you um, you are very you know what you want okay you're sharp here you have a sharp you're very intelligent you have a sharp mind you made your you made your um, your decision here okay so that's why I clearly decide for some of you you've already decided for some for others you didn't but I feel like for most of you you offer, you already decided what you want in life what what how do you see your future with your counterpart okay. That's what I feel here. The Queen of Swords is someone very. Um, when they know, they know. When you know. And then when it's a no, it's a no. They well, when they take a decision, they don't usually change. This is the Queen of Swords. And here, near near the Queen of Swords, you have the King of Cups. So here, this is. Um, that it could be you, okay? Because you're a Scorpio. This is an um, an uh, um, water sign. I feel like you. I feel like it's you balancing both actually to tell you the truth it's you being your knowing what you want and taking your decision on your own and also uh, tapping into this side of you that is uh, more intuitive and um, more compassionate here okay which is good you know you need to have this balance in life to make some healthy decisions oh wow the wheel of fortune okay all right, now we get into this. Okay, so the Wheel of Fortune is divine, um, um, a faded and divine uh, meeting. Okay, so those angels here are working on something to bring you this faded relationship. Okay, they might be working on you as well. Okay, that's what I feel. They're working on you, like helping you bringing this balance. Um, maybe you need some to heal some stuff but they're working on you being <coughs> this um, Queen of Swords but not too much in the Queen of Swords 
tapping also in your own energy, which is the King of Cups. Okay? Let me drink some water real quick. I lit up some uh, incense. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> and I don't want to start coughing in the reading, so... Let me drink some water. <clears throat> okay. So, um... Here I have all four... I think this is this is right yeah all four uh, fixed signs here which is you Scorpio Aquarius and watch what this here it could, so you could be dealing with an Aquarius because you are the Scorpio right so you could be dealing with an Aquarius here also Taurus and hold on one more um, um, um I can't remember but what well, anyway here we go okay the four fixed signs all right here we have I think no no no, no. sorry guys it came too fast I didn't even shuffle all right let's continue for my Scorpio okay okay here is the this is seven of Pentacles this is working on something planting your seeds getting ready waiting also this is a little bit of waiting okay so here we go again we see that this waiting here is on the board so there is a little bit of waiting and uh, also waiting for this divine uh, and faded destiny okay that you have with this person just the uh, faded uh, encounters with this person okay with the one that you're going to be married to and it's saying very soon so I think that you probably at the end of the waiting and I feel that I wanted to say that for, for a lot of you guys not only Scorpios but all of the signs in general all of the people you know watching the tarot readings I feel like there is a union is coming in spring for some of you and also uh, summer again this waiting card <coughs> This person might be living in another side of the continent. Okay, the other side of uh, the continent or another country. Okay. So either you know it or you don't, but this is distance between you and this person right now, right there. That's why there is this waiting. <coughs> For some of you, you didn't meet this person yet. Yeah. Ace of Cups. Okay. But you're going to be reunited, okay, with this person, definitely. This is celebration, reunited, and it feels good. So definitely, this person, there is a, it's going to be like a, you know, um, you're going to cross path. There we go. Because there is something working on your favor here. Divine timing is, uh, is at work in your life. And I do feel the Wheel of Fortune here is also Divine Timing. This is Jupiter. This is luck and abundance coming towards you. And it is uh, orchestrated by the angels here. Okay? You're going to be reunited by, for, um, with this person very soon. It looks like here, you see, it looks like the springtime. I do see a pumpkin there, though. You see the pumpkin here. So for some of you, it could be uh, late, the latest in autumn, fall. Okay. Let's get going, let's get going. Scorpio 2021. Scorpio 2021. Okay. <coughs> Alright, so uh, these cards wanted, those uh, swords wanted to come out. First we had this, the seven or five of swords. I, sh I saw it again at the bottom of the deck. And then now we have the ten of swords. <clears throat> so this is for me uh, something that was painful that ended. Okay, this is a completion. This is the good thing. Okay. I have some of the decks that I have. Some of the decks that I have, you see the sun behind it. Here you see that the black clouds are look, lifting, okay? And this is, you see here, the yellow here is the sun rising. So, 
something there is completion here and then it's some completion of a uh, maybe a life that was not uh, pleasant for you or like a connection or it could be a situation anything you know work anything uh, and it, they're telling you it's the end and now you are there's something coming pretty fast some uh, a message communication or just love you know coming very fast for you okay okay one more card for my scorpio okay so this is interesting because pisces had this card at the same placement here the last card okay and this is a strength so you need to work on your confidence for some of you okay or your patience here as well for some of you because I feel like you are confident because you're scared to be to be hurt as well okay or you you don't trust uh, you don't trust that there's anyone for you you know any that anyone is going to come to give you love but I do feel that someone is coming because look we have the page of cups this person is coming um, as a page and then will soon be a queen a queen of cups which means that this person will come you maybe it's just a meeting you know you're gonna get to know this person but this person will soon develop some feelings for you or it could be you or both of you and hopefully you know and um, they will tell you like they will come like we saw the the eight of our ones they will communicate their feeling to you okay with passion i feel but you have to trust you have to trust okay the universe here they're telling you very soon clearly decide what you want so also could be a past still lingering in your energy okay so maybe that's why they're telling you to decide what you want i have to say that uh for some of you who were married with this person okay in the past and it ended up very painful it will not resonate for it with everyone so don't take it if it doesn't resonate just take the part that resonates with you but there is someone that you have you see this person has two two st uh, staff here i'll call them a staff one is against the wall here they are about they're turning the, the back to this one okay the staff and they, they're now they're gonna they're about to take that one so for me, it's a passage between one, it's like a portal. It's for, between one life to another. You, you're going, it's the completion, okay? You're going um, towards a new beginning here with a new person, okay? Of course, you're balancing your energies. We're being the Queen of Swords and the King of Cups. Using your energy is very good, but you have also to tap into different kind of energy, okay? To feel balanced. There is a little bit of grounding as well, you know, earth energy that has to be um, taken in consideration here too, okay? In order also to uh, heal, maybe you can ask Mother Gaia to help you. Strength here is Leo, so you could be dealing with a Leo. Uh, you have air energy here, earth energy, water energy, and, and, and fire okay and then we have the fixed signs i'm sorry i don't remember the last one but you can go ahead and check okay you can uh, uh google it uh, oh a taurus taurus leo okay uh i think um aqua and then scorpio okay which is you or you could be dealing with a scorpio as well you know uh, or a cancer or any water sign here with the king of cups Alright guys, so now I'm going to get pull a few, few cards here from the um, Island Time Wellness. I bought them at uh, Amazon a few a year ago actually, about a year ago, and uh, I don't know if they're still into under print. I don't know, or I don't know if they still are, if they're out of print. I'm not sure. The Dragonfly, what a beautiful card. Be light-hearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. Yeah, definitely. The wheel is turning as well, okay? The wheel is turning. I forgot to tell you that. 
here there's a change coming because the wheel is turning on your favor okay this what that thing was was painful is done is the past you have to close the door to that okay like this person here has the globe that has the word completion you know globe here on their hand and they think bye bye to this uh, stuff on their back okay so that's what you have to do as well if uh, it's apply it applies to you of course yeah heartbroken deeply hurt sad separation breakup <coughs> uh, grieving mourning okay you went into this period already I think this is the past of the, the maybe the recent past because it's still showing they're telling you though that there is unconditional love coming towards you giving and receiving affection falling in love okay kisses and again we have this sudden change here with lightning sudden change shocking news surprise epiphany upheaval transformation yeah definitely okay you're going from one one life to another there is movement here there is a a better a change for the better i feel all right okay so i'm going to wrap up the reading and i'm going to use the guardian angels okay So let's see what is the little message from your guardian to you, my dear Scorpio. I hope that you have a wonderful month of March, a wonderful spring. Enjoy, okay? Always pull out the positive side, okay? Always. Even if you are in uh, the Christian of Swords. I know it's not easy, but always pull out the positive. Okay, balance. Ooh, exactly. That's what I was saying, you know. I remember at the beginning with those two, I felt balance in your energy. That you have to pull from the you are queen of swords and king of uh, penti um, king of cups, and there is a balance. I think this is you here, but of course it could be uh, an Aquarian or a Gemini or Libra coming towards you, right? But there is also this balance that has to. That you will have to work on okay so balance difference is a necessary part of human evolution and everything in life is compromised of opposites which together make life whole if you light a light a candle in a room already flooded with light the light of your candle would be indistinguishable from the light which already exists because of darkness, we are able to perceive light, both unnecessary. Yeah. Because you've been through that, you have the strength now, you know, to, to, to change your life. You know that you cannot go down worse. You, it cannot be worse than that. Okay? So you, you can raise from that. And then also, they're talking about opposite. Like, opposite attracts. So for some of you, you know, you could be there very different, like I said, different elements here. But you attract this order, okay? You complement it. In sh uh, you are complementary, I mean, you know, to each other. Okay, one more. One more for my Scorpio. One more, please. Thank you. Manifestation. Believe in yourself, trust your instincts and follow your heart, for in doing so you shall manifest all your heart desires. The life you have for so long inspired, uh, aspired, uh, wait, the life you have for so long aspired to create will soon manifest. Yeah, you are, you are intuitive, you, 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 um, you own the water element. So you're intuitive, you can feel emotion, you can feel compassion, you are, you're also very creative, okay? So take advantage of that and then to um, manifest what you want, okay? This is a nice reading for you guys for the month of March. I hope that you enjoy it. 
and take care and i see you next time okay bye